Are you getting this? What? Okay, who else needs a little help on it? Questions? How's this group doing? Are we getting this, you think? Meet Michael Robel, a mild-mannered math teacher at Arvada West High School. Rachel, how are you doing today? You doing okay, Amber? Nicole, how's it going? Behind his calm and patient one. demeanor is an alter ego. <laughs> he is the Robinator, that's all I can say. Yes, the Robinator. I first saw that when I was a freshman, and I thought it was absolutely hilarious, and I was actually worried that that's what he really looked like. He's always making jokes about you know, his physique and how much you know, his lifting career has been off track since he's been teaching. But the way I like to run with it with my humor is it was back in the era when I used steroids, uh, but after the roid rage incident of 2007, I had to wean off, you know. Let's first of all take this equation the Robonator really is a softie. One thing that's very important to me as a teacher is first and foremost, I want my students to know I care about them as people. They all have a different personality and don't always learn the same way. So Michael Robel adapts. What does the two in front do? What does that tell us? Go ahead. Today, he's co-teaching with Jerry Sunby, a special education teacher. They tackle tough content for students with special needs. It's the only team-taught Algebra II class in Jefferson County schools. Like he tells the kids, he goes, I'm using the same lesson that I use for my Algebra II honors kids that I'm using with you. And he keeps telling them that over and over again. The kids go, well, this is not so bad. I can do this. He chooses to teach this class. He works really well with students that can easily be frustrated. The neat thing is the content, the core content, is essentially the same. Robles' commitment to all students at A West earned him a special honor. How are you guys doing today? Good. Principal Good. Rob Bishop um, delivers the surprise well, news, year, an award presented really by fun. the city of Arvada. And this year, our selection for super teacher is your very own Mr. Robel. Oh, Congratulations. You know he wants so. to be there. You know, he's just so forward about how much he cares about all of us, makes just for a really great learning environment, and just makes us really respect him as a teacher. Rather than just lecturing, he makes a point to have students come up. So let's give him a hand. That was well done, Mitch. Everything that's going on in his life, he kind of leaves at home. At home are his two kids, Caleb and Liz, both adopted, and his wife, Margaret. She's been sick for a long time, but about 10 years ago was diagnosed with the autoimmune disease called sarcoidosis. They wrote a book together called Always Sick, Always Loved to help others facing similar challenges. Where do we find hope uh, when the bottom falls out with our health? And it's definitely been key in my life to, I think, build in me uh, much more compassion. I've really never, never met a teacher like him. I think through Mike's um, family challenges, he certainly looked at Arvada West as kind of uh, a place where he um, can um, find some solace, some comfort. And a sense of humor helps too. Of course. <laughs> there you go. You know, I don't know if my students think it's that funny, but I do try to insert some robo humor. When it comes to teaching math, Arvada West students and staff say he doesn't know how good he really is. Oh, I, I, w I wish he did, but yeah, everybody else sees it for sure. He probably wouldn't call himself an outstanding teacher, but he is. Way to go, Michael Robel. You have made the Wildcats proud. On behalf of the city of Arvada, congratulations. You, the Roblinator, are Arvada West High School's Super Teacher of the Year.